What's going on everybody, it's Carlos here from Premiere Reviewer and in today's video we're going to be talking about the new update for the PlayStation 4 and we're going to get into a few things. First of all, this is not going to be a walkthrough on every feature, this is going to be more on how to actually get the remote app to be downloaded to your system. So either your PC or uh, Mac. So I have them, I did it actually on both and it was hard to actually find the website but we're gonna go through that I'm gonna show you and uh, we'll actually bring that up right now so right here which I'm gonna leave a link down below where you can actually get this link so you don't have as much trouble as I had um, okay so you see you can download here it's downloading I already did that I actually don't need to do that again but it downloads the same thing for Mac and everything is down how to it, it explains how to do it it's really simple you don't necessarily need to uh, go too in detail into that because that's what we're gonna do as you see it also explains how you do it here so once you have this and you have that installed you're going to see this icon come up on your desktop or Mac um, Mac you'll probably have to go into your launcher to get this icon which is not a big deal it's the same thing you're gonna open that app and then you're gonna connect a DualShock 4 controller to your PC or Mac um, and then this is where we're gonna switch over now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with my monitor and my um, Mac Pro MacBook Pro that is uh, so you can see more walkthrough and, and we're going to get a little bit into uh, detail on what I think about how this app is actually utilized. So let's get to that right now. All right, so now we have that plugged in. We're going to be looking at my MacBook Pro. So here is the app. It's going to install. It's the same thing for PC. You're going to install it. Make sure your controller is connected. You can see right here I have my... PlayStation 4 already on. It shows the following user has connected. Now, one of the things that I want to take you to before we go here is actually, and you can already see these things taking place. So let's go to the settings. Under your settings, you're going to want to look at um, remote connection. So once you're under remote connection, once you install the actual application, you'll go to add devices. When you add devices, see now I already have this, but it's going to give you a code. If you can't remember your password for whatever reason, you'll have a code that gives you a bunch of numbers that you're going to enter into the app itself. So once you do that, you'll be connected. Now, if you do that for the PC and the Mac, you can obviously only use one system at a time. So that's, um, so you got to keep that in mind. I already logged out of my PC, so now we're going to do it on the Mac, and you'll see that I already have all that taken care of. Now I can increase the size of this, and you can see now that this is being utilized. So let's uh, let's go into let's back out of here, and one of the things I want to show you is look at the difference in speed between the two it's almost instantaneously so that is that is really good my only problem with this is actually that it has a the screen you're gonna be using no matter what this is a retina but it's still only gonna be broadcasting in less than maybe I think it's even less than 720 which is not ideal I, I'm a pixel peeper so I really that kind of does bug me, but that is not a deal breaker because where we're at with this technology right now, it's only going to improve. They're only going to improve the quality of the actual uh, resolution. And that is, that's big. That's huge. So it, let's say we went into a gameplay right now. All right. So now this game is loading. This is really just a straight demonstration on how, uh, what the lag is going to be like. So let's skip this let's go you can see everything is almost instantaneously so that's really good 
playing and talking at the same time not the easiest thing to do but again demonstration for you guys you can see the difference between the two it, it, it's almost not even existence so you can easily play this online if you wanted to obviously you're gonna have a slight disadvantage and I mean a slight disadvantage on real time but it's not going to be that dramatic it's not gonna be dramatic at all so that's about it guys hopefully you guys like this hopefully I was able to explain how to set it up if you have any questions leave them down below but honestly I'm just excited that they're going in this direction because yeah the quality um, if you're playing it via your PC or your Mac it's not gonna be as good as playing it as far as directly from the PlayStation 4 itself but that's just the first step pretty soon they'll have some more updates we will bump up the quality and I can definitely see this being that much more immersive and much more fun so guys anyways thank you for tuning in i really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video i probably will be having more update videos like this uh for game plays and stuff like that so stay tuned make sure you subscribe for that like i always say until next time i'll see you around